Hi, I'm Elizabeth DeRazio coming to you from the Upper Valley Humane Society. And if it's the Upper Valley, then we're very proud of our outdoors. I'm joined right now by Russell Herschler, the Executive Director of the Upper Valley Trail Alliance. And we're here to talk about trail etiquette. That's right, it's not just for the dinner table anymore. There's a proper way to use trails, whether public or private, so that we all can continue to enjoy them. Thank you for joining us, Russell. Thanks for having me, Elizabeth. Very sensitive topic, but relevant. Yes, very much so. Um, we live in an area where everyone values their recreational opportunities, mm -hmm. uh, but most of the land around here is held in private hands. Right. Um, so we are uh, at the will of private landowners who open their land to allow the public to recreate on it. And we always want to make sure that the proper uses are being done in the proper places so that we don't, um, let's say, upset landowners so that right. they close their trails. And that is something, you know, on one hand, if you have property that does have a trail on it, there's always that hesitancy, like, I'd like to let people use it, but what if they ruin my yard or my, you know, my waterways or things like that? So trail etiquette is really a great way of us to say, yes, we can, we can walk through that part of your land, but we appreciate it as much as you do. Yes, absolutely. I want to say to any landowners out there that are, are thinking about or who have trails on their land, Vermont and New Hampshire have some of the strongest landowner liability protection laws in the country. So uh, any issues about letting the public recreate on your land and getting hurt and then you're going to get sued, not really that much of an issue. Right. The etiquette question is more about um, how do people who want to recreate out there in the general community uh, find out what uses um, are allowed on different kinds of trails. Right. And um, very much like uh, if you're a hunter and you want to go hunt on someone's land, right. you go knock on someone's door and you say, hey, my name is Russ and I'd like to hunt on your land and you'll get a yes or a no. Mm -hmm. A very nice thing to do is if you see the landowner, you can go over to them, you can thank them for the use of their, your, their land and ask them what the uses are that mm -hmm. they would like on their properties. And one nice thing is on your um, on your website and with the Trail Finder program, you actually can see some of you know these uses. Okay, these people do allow pets. Some of these people don't. So if you're a little hesitant of just knocking on doors and finding out what you can do, that can eliminate some of the sticky moments. Absolutely. So there are some great resources out there. One, as you mentioned, is our uh, online Trail Finder database uh, that lists all the allowed uses on each of the trails that are are, are in that website. Um, if you're looking for trail information in your own town, some of it is on public land. We have municipal parks and town forests right. and so on and so forth. Or state lands. You can go to those different websites or you can go to your town hall um, or your uh, forest, uh, forest service visitor center um, or your state parks visitor center and you can ask there. But again, the most important thing is make sure that you're using the, the proper uses on the proper trails because very easily that generous landowner who said, sure, I'll allow hiking on right. my land and you want to go mountain biking and you go mountain biking where you're not supposed to that trail is going to disappear and it happens all the time. Right. And that's the thing is it only takes one person to overstep their bounds and ruin it to, for everyone, but it can take one nice person or one night, not polite person or family to open that door up again. So we really want to encourage landowners, but also hikers and outdoor enthusiasts. Let's play by the rules so we all can enjoy it. Absolutely. Another thing that the Trails Alliance uh, does, and we've done this over the years, we did it in 2008, 2010, and 2012, and we're planning one for later this year, is what we call a Trails Connect forum mm -hmm. where we get everyone from the community who has an interest in trails to get together and talk about the issues that are going on there, what they have going on in their own communities, uh, how can we connect those trails and a big topic for this year is going to be trail etiquette. Mm -hmm. So it's a really great resource for any people who have land or maybe are looking to expand you know the usage of trails in their area to talk to you and the Trails Alliance as to how we can make trails accessible but happy for everyone. Absolutely we'd love to hear from anyone out there who has any questions and if you as a trail user don't know where you can find the information, just give us a call and we'll do our best to help you out. I want to thank you, Russell, and thank the Upper Valley Trails Alliance for helping make our trails accessible for everyone.